Ben here from Ben Sawmill. Today we're going to do a video on making some carpenter bee traps. Out at the sawmill I have carpenter bees that are eating the side of the wood. You can see the holes here where they're eating. This is the side of my garage. So today I'm going to show you how to make these traps and hopefully we'll catch them and that way we can stop them from chewing up the wood mill. What we're doing here is we measure our blocks out. we got four inch blocks. So I just put some marks on there four inches. So we'll have three blocks out of this chunk of wood, a piece of scrap wood. And just take and Make sure we're on our mark here. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is put the block in a vise. We're going to take our one inch paddle bit here. And we're going to go right up through about the center. And I'll put this piece of tape on here so that we know where we go through without going through the top. So I'm going to drill up through about the center. Just up through till I hit that tape mark. Then I'm going to take the one inch bit out and I'm going to put the half inch bit in. This half inch bit I'm going to drill holes about a 45 degree angle till I hit that open hole. So what I'm going to do is start it going straight up and down back to about a 45 degree angle or so and drill till I fall into that open hole in the middle. And I'm going to do this on all four sides. All I'm going to do now is take this over here, got a hammer, I'm going to take roughly the center and the top here, I'm going to put a staple in here, and then I'm going to go over, I got a scrap wire bit over here, just find any scrap piece of wire, you can use a coat hanger even, and just going to come through here and kind of make a nice little loop on here just something to hang it off of what this does then is you take your water bottle and uh, one inch hole is a little big for a water bottle that's why I put a piece of tape on top of the water bottle but if you get that to fit kind of snug you put that right in there and then what you do is when this is hanging out there the carpenter bees come over they go into the hole they come into the center and when they find that big open hole in the middle they don't really care for that to lay their eggs in, so they try to get out, and they see the light through the jar, through the bottom, they crawl in the small hole, they go into the middle, and they fall down to the bottom, and they end up in the jar. Here we are outside the next day, after we built the trap, and as you can see, it's working pretty good. First day, I already have a bee inside the carpenter bee trap.